Get to know Livy Zoe in this virtual interview. She's the author of an exciting new book called Mixed Business. Tell me, what was your inspiration for writing Mixed Business? What's the book about? Oh, the well, it's a book about, it's about a young lady, Nora. Nora is a little self-conscious, she's a little bit anxious, but she's a smart thing. And um, it's just a point in her time where she found love and the, the issues that came with finding this little love of her life. Um, um, and, you know, and, and she wasn't expected to find this love. She was just walking along and all of a sudden it kind of hit her. Um, it actually, um, it's, I wrote it while I was going to school and it's just a process that I do. What I do is I will write to kind of think through calculations and computations. It's like that left brain, right think brain thing. So um, so this story came out of that. Um, so definitely that's, that's how Nora and Sherman came to life. Nora and Sherman. So are the characters based on the experiences of yourself or anyone you know? Loose, very loose bases very loose bases but um <laughs> but, uh, like that's me you wrote that book about me yeah right, right. I'm, I'm right, sorry. right. Very, very, <laughs> very loose <laughs> but um but yeah no it's it's i mean um it's very base uh loose bases um yeah because i'm um very anxious <laughs> but but i mean the experiences that she had was no no but um but that but i am um yeah, Real loose faces. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. A little, a, a little tiny bit of inspiration, but just yeah, just yeah. I mean yeah, because I, I'm always writing. So but this one is a little bit more, um, yeah, loosely me. <laughs> so, I love yeah. that you set the book in the '90s. Why did you decide to do that? Well, so that was a good, um, that was a fight because um, I had an, an editor help me with this, mm -hmm. and they kept trying to make it more contemporary. But when I wrote the story, it was in the 90s. So we were fighting to keep bringing it more current. And and finally, I just sat down and said, you know what, why are we fighting? Because you don't ever fight something and you think this Wait, isn't- Wait, who wanted it to be more current and who wanted it to be in the 90s? You were the editor. Me, I wanted it more 90s. Okay. Editor wanted it more current. Okay. And we were fighting and I just said, you know what? The I'm gonna stick to me. I'm sticking with you. 90s, yes. So um, so we did a lot of, I mean, it, it, but yeah, definitely. I just thought she's a 90s girl. I mean, this is when, you know, this is when the book was written. Let's let's keep her here. So so yeah, definitely it was a struggle, but we, we managed to keep it in the 90s, definitely. Now, without giving the book away, obviously. So do you reference like 90s music thing, you know, movies or anything like that in the book to kind of set the tone? I don't. I, I don't do that so much. Um, and, and it's and it is. Uh, what I try to do is, I want you to envision surroundings. So I don't place my characters. Okay. Meaning, you. I want you to just be in that moment. But I don't want to change your narrative as to location. So when you get into her world, it could be your city. It could be your town. So I don't put a um, locale on the on the scenario. I don't I don't focus on scenarios so much. Um, you know it's the '90s because she references things like um, we're trying to get into the computer age. You know what I'm saying? Oh, things okay. like that. Okay. Yeah. A um, subtleties, it, but it's there. Yes, there's little subtlety, little subtleties, but it can be a current book. It it can be. So I was trying to. I was trying to mesh what the editor wanted, <laughs> but I, I I stuck her in the '90s. Oh, she 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 tells you she's in the '90s at one point. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell me about your childhood. When did your okay. love of the arts come into play? I'm a '90s girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a '90s girl. <laughs> so so um and and um and growing up '90s, growing up '80s '90s, you had the latch keys kids, you know, so I'm a latchkey kid. And um, mom, um, and I always tell everybody, oh, I'm used, to, I'm, I was ready for COVID because your mom said, go home, you stay home. Summer times, you're home. So you had to be creative. You had to figure things out. You had to, you know, so we wrote stories and this is, I did, I've been writing stories for my sisters since goodness, for as long as I can remember. 
we we did pictures, we did songs, we built up these imaginary worlds, and I mean, with our Barbies and our toys, and so it grew from there with singing. I mean, all types of music. Um, I didn't just, I wasn't just exposed to just R and B. I mean, I mean, goodness gracious, there was. I mean, name it, I listened to it, um, and um, even arts. You know, it's. We've always been in the Smithsonian's. I mean, we spent summers going to the Smithsonian's and we were we were always in museums and that type of thing. So yeah, I mean, you, you get that kind of you know, basis growing up and after that, it's just like, here I come world, you know? Like, I mean, I'm, let me give you what I've got. So yeah, we've, we've just been exposed to a lot as kids, plus trying to be imaginative um, together. Um, I think that that was a lot. So, yeah, definitely. I love how that shapes, you know, who you are today as a creative, as an authorist. I just love that. And I, I shout thank out you. to your family for oh, you know, encouraging you. that because, yeah, yeah. you know, arts are important. You know, they shape us socially. You know, they're so impactful. And I just think that's pretty cool that you that you had that. Like, <laughs> I mean, maybe at the time you may have been like, man, we always got to go in the house. <laughs> 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 I want to go outside. But look at what it, like, like, how that. creative you are. Yeah, I mean, you're like, you're a damn little great, you know? You know so my mom's always like, yeah, your background with the clouds back there. Like, you're so oh, creative. <laughs> I know my daughter, my, my daughter. See, now you're raising creative people. Like, that's cool. <laughs> Keep going. Michael, you keep going. Uh, if you were to turn mixed business into a movie, what actors would you love to see play the roles of your characters? Um, well, and that's funny because I, this will be a movie. This yeah. Will be a movie. Oh, thank you. Um, but, um, and Issa Rae, oh my goodness. I love the way Issa Rae portrays anxious, insecure, I mean, and she does it with smartness. She does it with just that character and you know when you're looking at her as an insecure woman that she is really smart she like you don't underestimate her and that's who i feel nora is i mean she is goodness gracious it, it's a ray all day um sherman was a little bit tough for me and i realized recently that i see sherman in sam rockwell um sham rockwell is um especially in the role he played in this I don't know if we were able to say, but he played in this one role where he had a hero complex and he kept trying to save this girl and she didn't need to be saved, but he had this confidence, um, and, but it wasn't so cocky. It was like, I know, you know, I know I should save you, but it's, um, but I'm here, you know, so it, but so I see Sam Rockwell. Um, now he has a friend in there named um, Edward Font, and Edward I see as Mike Coulter all day long from Luke Cage. I just, <laughs> no, it's a wrap. Call his agent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me, <laughs> right. So, but definitely. Um, but yeah, this will be a book. I mean, a movie. Excuse me. This will be a movie. And um, but those, it's their portrayals and how they were able to act those scenes and just and give it that. So that's that's how I that's who I see. Um, Love that great. Okay, so I checked you out because you know I'm a great producer. <laughs> so I, okay. all, shout out to Stella oh. Art PR because your publicist is always on. So um, yes. <laughs> shout out to Estella. Yes, um, that's right. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> so she sent me all the materials. So I checked out the website, went some digging online or whatever oh. on you, and I learned some very interesting fun facts. Okay, okay, here we go. One, here we go. You collect erasers. <laughs> Two, you're a big fan of sci-fi. And three, you have an affinity for highlighting the strength of women oh. in your stories. Explain your reasons for these fun facts. Okay, the erasers. Now this is something that me and my daughter have been doing. I mean, we've been doing this so long. So it's, I'm gonna show you one. My daughter's still, it's these little, they look <laughs> like, <laughs> So and I can't bring myself to use them. I just can't. I mean, and as a writer, you would think, yeah, you bought it. We, we've been collecting them since, oh my gosh, my daughter is 19. So since she was about six, seven. So we've been collecting. So here, let me just give you, here's a little carrot. I, I just can't <laughs> use them. I know, I, this is, they're just the cutest little, anyway. So that, <laughs> <laughs> now my daughter will get them, so but I, I collect them. Um, sci-fi. 
I'm a romance writer, suspense writer, but oh my goodness, if there's a movie that has any element of sci-fi, oh man, I'm there. Doctor Who is my show. The latest, um, that latest Doctor Who with that lady, oh my goodness, I mean, they did that so right. Um, but so yeah, anything sci-fi, Stephen King, um, it, I mean, it's, that is my world, but I, but which is funny because it channels the romance and I don't even know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> how that works, I don't know, but it's, it works. Works. it's working. Right, it's working. <laughs> and, um, and again, back to growing up, I mean, and then I, writing about strong women, I, of course, I base it with my mom. Like I said, Smithsonian's, I mean, she is, she's just found a way to keep us together, you know, keep us moving but I move outside of that my friends I mean I'm always telling them hey listen be careful because the next story's got you in it you okay with that you know I mean they are strong but I love that they're that they don't mind me showing their weaknesses do you know what I'm saying because to, like they always say to make I gotta be strong for me to be strong I've once had to be weak and I and, and I'm always gonna be weak so I just love when they say those little tidbits and let me channel them and so a lot of my new like the old story, of course, was me. That's Nora. That's my. But the new stories are channeling friends and and um, family members. And 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 I'll say, can you see yourself in this? And, and they'll say, I don't see that, and I'm a little afraid. <laughs> but but I'll tell them, you know. Well, you have a good ah! sounding board. It sounds. Oh like, man, you know? yes. They, they are <laughs> poor things. They are always. I'm like, hey, can you read this? Uh, can you read this? <laughs> can you read this? You know. So yeah, no, they. They're great. I mean, everybody is so, uh, they really are. So yeah, I'm surrounded by strong women. Everyone's always wanting to build me up. We always build each other up. So it's it's easy, like it's easy to pick, you know, and be able to accentuate strong women in my stories. Absolutely, yeah, okay. definitely. Okay. Well, when you're not quarantined in the house during yes. a COVID-19 pandemic, uh, and there's no sci-fi movie or show on, what do yes. you enjoy doing in your spare time? Okay, I could walk around Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> That's your jam, Ikea. <laughs> no, it's, it's a, man, and I'm talking. I mean, are you the, like filling the cart up or is it just like, just the, like, I don't know. Ikea is this huge warehouse of stuff. And it, it and is. And, it is. and <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's possibilities. I just, <laughs> I just want to walk through and I know it's my family hates it. They're like, oh my gosh, don't, we, we already know what mom wants to do. Don't, de don't let her choose because I'll have us in Ikea and we'll walk from beginning to the end. And I may walk out with four little tiny items, you know, and then, <laughs> and then. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then at the end, um, I always like to go to that little clearance section where they do like the, the <laughs> anyway, but, and then, but I do like to travel. No, I, I mean, I love Ikea, but that's like you said, if home, COVID, and, you know, if I got to go out locally, it's Ikea, but, but I, we love to travel. I love traveling, love to get out. And I mean, like outside of where I'm at, even. Italy, um, I know, but um, Hawaii. I mean, we just, I love to travel and people watch. I mean, that is, oh my gosh, that's, that's where I get the content from. You know, you, you just, people watching, you see the things, you're kind of like, ah, okay. Because you okay. already, like, think you know so much about a person by looking at them. Right, like, right. Uh, that must be her husband. Yeah. <laughs> they must be, they must be new, newly dating. They all and, up the, fun, <laughs> the fun part is people watching and then you go, like, I love the surprises. I people watch and then I think, like you say, oh yeah, they're together and she's this way. And then I love to see the flip. Like, you know, maybe you're sitting on an airplane and you'll hear, like, you, you'll go, Oh, that is not her husband. You know, like oh, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, like, where do you want to go? What time do you want to go to mom's Saturday? Like, oh, that's her brother. Like, oh, it's a plot thickens. <laughs> right? And you're like, ooh, you know. So, but no, yeah, definitely. So, and that's what I like about it. It's because it's always surprising. Always. I mean, you know, I've built this world up, and then all of a sudden they've broken it down because I'm going. Okay, that's my husband. That is somebody. Else. You know, like so. You can use that. Like, well, my story is about a husband and a wife. Right. My yeah. Right. That's and yeah. <laughs> definitely. Sorry, that's yeah. your brother. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So no, but that's that's exactly what that's what I like about it. So definitely, IKEA. 
traveling and in writing, of course. I mean, definitely love writing. So I, I would have probably been inside, just not here. You know, sometimes you just got to get out the oh, house. Oh, like a coffee shop or something like that? At the app. Oh, gosh, you got that right in the head, like a coffee shop. So definitely. Yep. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, but yeah, other than that, um, yeah. We, like to do other things. <laughs> well, so. congratulations on the launch of your book. Nick Thank you so, I'm so much. I'm so excited for you and everything that you create during this pandemic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if anyone is interested in checking out your latest book, Miss yes. Business, and following your journey, what's the best way to stay connected with you? Um, definitely, we're on all. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. On um, Facebook at It's Livy Zoe, um, and that's um, and we also my website www.livvyzoe.com or www.livzoe.com. Livzoe.com. We got it, girl. Well, thank you for talking to me today. It's been such a pleasure. And you take good care of yourself out there, okay? Yes, ma'am. You too. You too. Thanks so Bye. much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How do I? I don't know. Okay.